Uh, Tati, it's no secret trying to keep your waistline in check during the holidays is difficult. That's where Detroit Waldorf School is stepping in. Monday, you can attend a free workshop. Notice I said free to keep it healthy for the holidays. And joining me are Jade Fern and Catherine Feldhaus. Uh, good morning to you both. Good morning. Both wellness coordinators at Detroit Waldorf School. Uh, tell us all about the school. Sure. Well, Jason, um, Detroit Waldorf just celebrated its 50th anniversary mm -hmm. at our location in Indian Village in Detroit. Um, we're so excited to move forward with some new programming this year. This program is brand new. It's called Wellness at Waldorf. We launched last month, and we're here to share some great, healthful holiday recipes with you that we also, in turn, share with our families. Mm -hmm. All right, and the event is free. Absolutely. Absolutely free. You do have to RSVP. Uh, how do you do that? So if you head over to our website at DetroitWaldorf.org, we have the information there. Also, if you check out our Facebook page, we have links also with additional recipes. Detroit Waldorf? Yes. At Detroit Waldorf? Okay. Yes. All right. What are we making this morning? Tati is like, she's over there like, she can't <laughs> wait to get off the couch and get over here and try the salad. So we're going to make a Waldorf Michigan kale salad. Mm -hmm. It's super easy. You're just going to go ahead and strip the kale off the stem just like that. Break it down. A well, what's bit. wrong with the stem? I thought the you know the whole. I mean, raw you can keep the like, stem if you really, you know, you really need that like fiber. You can keep it. By the way, I love the name Jade Fern. It's like you know, a Batman <laughs> sort of kind of name. I know. Like poison Ivy, Jade Fern. I forgot my apron cape today. That would have been super <laughs> helpful. This fall on NBC, Jade Fern. <laughs> so this is gonna make all the Batmans in the world stronger. We're gonna break down the kale a little well bit. Well played. Well played. And then. We made a, a pre-made dressing here. It has lemon, olive oil, garlic, black pepper, salt, honey, Michigan honey. Okay. I'm just gonna pour a little bit of that on. I noticed that it's uh, coming out of a drought jar. Mm -hmm. It is, we, we decided to recycle. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, good. And we're all about the local. All these ingredients are Michigan also local. Made, right? Michigan yeah. made, local sure. from Eastern Market. And that's what's great about all these ingredients is that you can pick them up right at Easter Market. Now, if you're not down with the kale, you could make this with spinach or, or oh, romaine absolutely. or iceberg lettuce. Yeah. Just the white part of the iceberg lettuce. They just have. the white part. Any sort of, <laughs> any sort of green. <laughs> and then you just throw in the apples, beets. Beets? Beets. Roasted beets. Why roasted beets as opposed to just beets? I think they're a little bit easier on the palate and to digest probably. Okay. Um, <laughs> So we did roast those at 400 degrees for 40 minutes before we um, put them in the salad. And then some... Tati is a total beatnik, by the way. She loves beets. She cannot <laughs> wait to get over here. You hear her Well, that's going to be perfect for her, though. Tati, why don't you come over now? Because... <laughs> come on. Well, these ingredients are great, too, because you can make a lot of these, prep this ahead of time. Like the beets, you can roast the night before, have them ready, cooled, and then your kids and your entire family can get in on the process of making this salad. What do you want people to take away from the outreach programs that you're doing? We want to make food accessible to all. We find that food is the one thing we all have in common. And our school, since we don't have a lunch program, our families are bringing their lunches every day. And the kids have a lot to say when it comes to food and nutrition. And so we want to extend that out to our community, not just our school. Excellent. So what did you, last two ingredients you put in there? I added some sunflower seeds and Michigan cherries. Nice. Mm -hmm. Hey, whoa. How did you sneak up on me? <laughs> we're, you know, he's excited to be here, and he knows I love healthy food, and we're trying to introduce Jason to some different things, right? I'm, I'm not opposed. Right? I am not opposed. Tell us some of this other stuff, because all of this other stuff looks really good, too. What's that? That so, is our butternut squash mac and trees. Oh mm -hmm. Mac and what? Mac trees. and trees. So the, the broccoli rock. is the tree. Oh, I love and broccoli and in cheese. in lieu of cheese, <laughs> we actually um, have butternut squash, a puree butternut squash with soaked cashews to mm -hmm. give it a nice creamy mm -hmm. Depth. Vegan so, mac and cheese, right? Remember, vegan. Jay, we talked about this. All right, so uh, we're going to taste test. We'll be right back, everyone. You ready, Jason? Let's go to Chuck. All right, over to, over to you, Chuck. Chuck. 